All right, so some of my catchers want to know how far it is from home plate to second, how far they're throwing to, you know, throw a guy out when he's stealing second. Uh, and what I did to get that answer was the Pythagorean theory, uh, I think. <laughs> I think that's what it was called. But I know the formula is A squared B plus B squared equals C squared. So that's what I did. I took 90. If you're playing on a big base, you know, on the big bases, if you're playing on the little bases, you got to take 60. So I took 90 squared by 90 squared equals, and I got to get my number that I, because I didn't do this in my head, was, uh, it equaled 162,000. Um, and now we don't just take that and turn it into, you know, a, you know, 162 feet. No, we don't stop there. What we do is, since it's that equals c squared, so it would be 162,000 squared. You got to take the square root of 162,000, and it comes out. It came out to 127.279. All right. So the math. The the only way I I know that this is right, the math is right on this one, is because I went back and checked the MLB rule book, and the rule book says that when you're setting up a baseball field, it shows figures and stuff, and it said the that home plate should be 127 feet and 3 inches. So it's just a little tiny, the tiniest bit difference um, on, you know, where the bases should be. Uh, actually, it's it probably works out to right about the same if you take 2.279 of 12s, it might be... I, you know, three inches. Who knows? I don't. I'm not going to do that math, but it's right there. 127 feet and a couple of inches. So that's how far you got to throw to throw a guy out. And you learn a little bit of math. You never know what you get when you come to Ugo Pro Baseball.